Afternoon folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, the sun is out, so that means only one thing, get the fertilizer out and get the grass growing. Um, it's that time of year again, uh, the cows are going out and maybe for some cases the silage soon start growing. But uh, here at Clark Machinery we have a selection of fertilizer spreaders uh, from the budget end of things right up to the premium brand. Here we have the Roush uh, Axis 30.2. This will be at the higher end of the market. Um, it's grant applicable, so if you were putting in the grant for your fertilizer spreader, you can do that because it's Isobus and GPS controlled through the tractor. Now, some people make the mistake when they hear about GPS controlled spreader, the spreader comes with a GPS. No, it doesn't. It's controlled by the tractor's GPS, or you can get um, auto, auto steer or auto guide supplied with the spreader but the spreaders themselves solely aren't uh, supplied with auto steer or auto guide. But this spreader here, it'll hold 3.2 ton. Uh, there's also an option of a lower, of a lower um, extension um, to give you obviously 2.8 ton, etc. Um, two spinners, S4 this from 18 to 24 meters. You can also get 12 to 18 meters or if the guys are spreading a little bit further, 24 to 36. Lights come standard. There's two optional extras on this, is the access ladder as well as the park and rollers. The rollers can be took off if you're spreading the field or can be left on but out of the way. Ideal for rolling it into the tight corners in the shed that you can't get the tractor. The access steps. As it says, steps to get inside it. You pull over your cover like that, and you can easily climb up safely and look into what um, you have internally. There's also a step inside that if you want to get in and do something internally in the spreader, it's easy to get in and out of. But there is sieves inside in the spreader to stop any lumps getting down into the augers, down at the spinners. So here we have is the Roush Headland Management. So other competitors have their own ways of doing it, which basically is stops the fertilizer from going into the boundary. But how that activates is you have small settings here to throw it out further back behind the spreader, but you pull your spool and that ram drops down and it deflects your fertilizer from going into your hedge or waterways, etc. Simple and it works. No getting in and out, all can be operated from uh, internally in the cabinet tractor. So just we have the spreader off here now and as you can see we have mud guards covering both sides spinners from the, from the debris of the tractor. When you drop your headland um, guide or, or management you can see it internally from the cabinet tractor. Uh, basically this yellow guy moves when the headland uh, management is activated and when it's not activated you have your single acting spool valve to activate that. And uh, this here is your controls for your um, Isobus. You just plug it in to the back of your tractor and let it load up on your screen and away you go. All is activated from the touch of a button. And your seven pin plug for your lights at the rear. Also have sight glasses here so you can show um, what you have in the spreader full or getting down into the, into the first hopper. Uh, 540 speed gearbox. Um, look at low horsepower requirements. All you need is a tractor fit to uh, capacity to hold uh, or lift 3.2 ton and keep it balanced. Now, uh, for the guys that doesn't want any of that um, high tech stuff, we have a simpler spreader. It's the MDS range, uh, ranging from 600 kilos right up to a ton and a half or two ton with um, extensions and covers. Uh, this is the base spreader. Just comes like that. Um, two double acting sides so you can shut off your left spinner or your right spinner and internally uh, there's a sieve also. Now uh, the beauty about this spreader is um, if you're going down a hill or on an angle some of its competitors have split um, hoppers a left and a right hopper but with a Roush spreader this size it has just one hopper so it doesn't matter if you're on a large incline or decline the, the hopper will empty. So to adjust your rate on um, an MDS spreader, the spreader has an app. Your app, you download it off your phone, and if you want to put so many kilos a hectare, 
uh, it'll give you you put in what your fertilizer you have let it be 18 6 12 um, straight nitrogen and what width you're spreading let's say 12 meters the speed you want to go 10 meters or 10 kilometers an hour as you walk down the app it'll give you um, a figure which will correspond with this here and this is your shutter opening and closing width so basically if you want a smaller hole or a bigger hole that's how you uh, adjust it uh, easily done when you're if the implement is on the tractor or off it um, simple steps to do it and spreading away so grants are available for all access spreaders um, not the MDS's unless you spec it up and if you spec up an MDS spreader it'll become the same price as an access spreader so you're better off going for the higher spec machine and if you don't want to go down the grant route and you just want to update your spreader don't hesitate to give us a call we can organize finance uh, we can deliver direct to your yard so give us a call on 049-854-4353 um, or check out the website and don't forget to like, like and subscribe